Wednesday night in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Some midweek footy to give you your fix in the Canadian Premier League. It's the first match in match week. Number 24 begins here in the gateway to the West. It is Vancouver and Valor meeting for the fourth and final time of the campaign as we say hello to Valor starting 11 this evening. Running it back as they have done against York and Forge. The outfield 10 remains unchanged, but Darlington Morris Ronwell will start in behind of this 4-1-2-3. Very little change for Ashvin Gopi despite his return to the touchline from suspension. We have Vasco Fry missing out tonight due to yellow card accumulation and taking his spot in their starting 11 is one of the stars of their team this season. That is Gabby Guitar on the left side of the midfield three. Marco Romeo, I think, would be high up on the list of Vancouver MVP for their first season. He has been so good for them at center back. Batar, excuse me, Hundal with the pressure on Chella goes to ground with a bit of contact. Can't put that on frame. It will be a goal kick. It's Jordan Haynes now. Gutierrez completely left unmarked. Slips it in for Williams. He's going to wait. Cross it over. Just about to take a deflection off the stud on the bottom of the boot of Callum Irving. Gutierrez for Williams settles it down. It skipped up on him as he was trying to drop the sledgehammer to find the top left corner. Call that a half chance, but that's again good service from Williams. These are the throws who have to 40 yards of Liberty. Here's Hundo. Oh, what a lead ball. Morris Aranjo. Out to it before it was a tap-in for Gabby Batar. Batar for Hundo, and things are starting to develop on either side. He goes under the foot of Pianelli. It's Alejandro Diaz with Akers. Diaz shouts, fakes across in slowly for Cameron. His shot is stopped by Darlington Morris Aranjo. Campbell. Perfectly weighed, headed back by Williams. This is Sanchez around right. Well, Pablo Sanchez through the fingertips of Irving. It will be a valid corner, and that injects a little bit of energy back in the IG fields. Gutierrez had taken the first two corners. It's Williams for the third. Hit with plenty of pace, looking for Chella. Gutierrez collects the loose ball back to the wing for Williams. Fowler stays in a threatening position. And it's straight up in the air by Simmons. Chella in a battle. Ponce had a golden opportunity on a turnover from Vancouver at the back. Could not find the frame. Crossed over, hung up for a moment. Gutierrez tries to chase the loose ball. The younger Barry now off the chest, takes an extra touch, goes to ground, and Anthony Wright's arm is in a very dangerous location. Valor screamed that that should have been a hand ball, and Campbell. Elliot Simmons just whiffs on that clearance attempt. Tahit comes back and is a bit more assured on his feet, but it's a bouncer towards right. Neander Barry picks his pocket and cannot keep it on target. Otherwise, it's 1-0 to Valor. Yeah, TJ Tahit there, it just gives it away too cheaply. Neander Barry reads it. Hands and Tahid stuck together like magnets. Diaz gets a touch and now Tahid has a step, leads. Hundal into the box, needs to get it out for Batar. What a step for Luis Aranwa. Point blank to deny Gabby Batar. And keeping this now and maybe Valor's postseason chances alive. Here's Dante Campbell for Nianga Berry. Takes an extra touch, Nyonga Berry on his right foot, back for Gutierrez, into the mixer, Williams in the back, pick up the three, Nyonga Berry scampers, and Salamani was the closest baller player to it. Gutierrez tried to scoop that back towards Guillaume Pianelli, and it's Vancouver breaking with numbers. Hundel, his ball for Tahid, meets it, and TJ Tahid does not waste his moment. Oh, a fabulous oh. volley to all but eliminate Valor 
from the playoffs this season. The 16-year-old substitute has three on the year. Uloa starts his run to the middle. He's going to have the hits. has run out on Valor in 2023 as TJ Tahid has all but eliminated. Well, he has in fact eliminated Phil Dos Santos's side from the playoffs. And it is Vancouver who are going up to seventh in the CPL table.